Hi Leo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we're going to have a reading for you. It's going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It could be a love reading or a general reading, but my readings are typically about love. Maybe because I'm such a romantic sap. I don't know yet, um, but that's how it usually turns out. And that's okay, right? Yeah, we have She Who Divines. Leo, this is about the future. Her name is... Uh, <clears throat> her name is... Futura, <laughs> like the future, but she, this is about choice and a judgment. So, you know, she's holding these cards here, almost like she went to some type of a reading where she's trying to like divinate, like figure things out. Mm -hmm, that's what, that's what divinating is. But this is about a choice, right? And a decision. <clears throat> and we also have the presence card. You're missing somebody, Leo. I feel like you get this card a lot. And uh, we have, but these obstacles, I feel like, are going to uh, are gonna be kind of overcome. I think they are uh, because we have this, you know, seven of clubs. Mm -hmm. Seven of clubs reversed. Yeah, we also have uh, the cedar branch. It talks about growth and uh, success. We also have this card here, uh, which talks about either a handshake or an agreement, like you maybe you are going to agree with somebody. It could be like, do you want to be in a union? It, I mean, it could be many different types of uh, type of agreement here. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have for you guys. Let's see what we got for Leo. Let's get a couple cards from this deck for Leo. For Leo, for Leo, please. The King of Wands. Show me what we got for Leo. We have the card of Joyfulness and the Lord and the money. Okay, so this two of uh, clubs, I always want to call it that, is all also about money, not just an agreement, a handshake. It can be about uh, like money and business life, things like that. We have the money card here with the Lord. You are somebody in this reading who kind of like, you don't have to be a man, but there's some kind of money here, uh, like stability that you have. And uh, also, there's somebody here who, like, uh, majorly brings you joy. I feel like this money card can sometimes just talk about good luck. It's a favorable card. We have the thought card. I feel like you miss somebody here, and this person brings you major joy. There could be third-party energy here. I mean, these cards, you know, that sometimes that uh, is, is identical to the three of the cups. Let's get one more card for Leo. And we have the card of the, the faithfulness card. For me, you're trying to make a choice here about who you want to be faithful to. Yeah, which could mean that you're not being faithful at all, right? With the process of elimination, right? This is what we do here. <laughs> Sometimes we have to use the process of elimination, right? Everybody does. Shoot, doctors do, except they're playing with your life. Here, go take this. Uh, yeah, go take this, uh, and uh, we'll see if it works. <clears throat> but, you know, if something happens, don't come back here. Or, you know, well, sorry. <laughs> so let's see what we have. Everybody uses the process of elimination. Yeah. OMG, that's a whole different story, isn't it? Let's see what we have, you guys. And let's look at your the heart of the matter for Leo. Let's see what we got. We have the Justice card. The Devil's Reversed. And we have Judgment. See, Judgment, this is all about a rebirth, I believe, uh, where you're making a decision, Leo. So you want to you want to you want to return to somebody. Or just get into union with somebody, but it kind of looks like it's a, a rebirth. Let's see what we have. That's what it is. She's she's gonna blow the horn, the angel, for a rebirth, but she hasn't blown it yet, so the people are still uh, laying there because you're still in the process of making this judgment. Yeah, and this is what you want. This is showing up like uh, in you know kind of a desire position here. We have the Queen of Cups, and this is coming into play. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could simply be love and compassion. It can. Let's see what else we have. We have the King of Cups now and the Moon. It looks like you're dealing with a lot of water energy here. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Uh, we might have Capricorn here. We have the Devil in the Reverse. Or you're dealing with maybe, uh, or maybe you're just releasing yourself from this kind of bondage. Mm -hmm. We don't know if you're in bondage yet. But you are definitely trying to make a choice here in this reading. We have the Queen of Wands. <coughs> and that is you, Leo. The Queen of Wands, typically, unless you're dealing with another fire sign. We have Justice and Judgment. Like, they are so, like, close here. You could be trying to make, decide if you want to divorce somebody for some. 
This is definitely about your future. Futura, that's her name. Or, or Futura, Futura. Doesn't it sound better, Futura? <laughs> so, so. so let's see what we have. Uh, and you have the Four of Swords here with the Two of Cups. Yeah, you love somebody here. This is so clear. You're in major thought about this. That's what that's that's the card here. The thought card. Here's the old man sitting here. I don't know what his name is. I mean, he could be dressed up like Aristotle here. Uh, he's holding these plans like he's trying to figure out what he's going to do. Yeah. And he's holding his head like it's a headache. These thoughts. And this that's because this is a decision. You, you might be worried about this, possibly. But definitely this is deep thought. Let's see what else we have. And this justice card, you could be married to somebody. Uh... It could be about the truth because whatever you are thinking of here is definitely based on some type of truth. Like I really love somebody or I want to live this life or leave somebody, something like that. And unfolding is the five of pentacles here. Mm -hmm. This is like letting somebody into the church or letting somebody into your life. Maybe that has been out in the cold. Let's see what we have. The eight of cups. You look like you have compassion here. But you are abandoning somebody else. It's kind of how this looks here. Letting somebody in. Uh, let's see here. I want to see what this Four of Swords in this deck. It is somebody. It is a little different. Yeah, this is a different deck. Mm -hmm. We have some creative folks writing these books. Uh, twisting, not twisting, uh, putting their own spin on things. The Four of Swords is going to be fatigue, illness, and fever. <laughs> So it's reverse. That's not funny, right? I feel like you could be tired here. Yeah, you're probably tired. That's why this man is sitting here. So he's either has a headache, it's a hard choice, hard decision. It is. It's very hard. And maybe there's money here that you don't want to part with because that looks like it's part of your decision. Your uh, And it could be also, you know, somebody maybe brings you major joy over here with this card. You're trying to figure out who you're going to be faithful to. Pretty sure here. Mm-hmm. Let's see what the Five of Pentacles says in this deck. Yeah, same thing. Poverty, desperation, survival instincts. This is unfolding here. Ruin, loss, bankruptcy, disorder. Wow. We're going to get one more card. You could be thinking if you leave somebody, you might be destitute. Like, I might be broke. Broke is a joke. Joke is a whatever, however they say it. Let's see what else we have. Because money is important here. I feel like it is. So what else we have. And we have temperance reversed. I feel like you are just thinking about this. I feel like this is part of your judgment. It's like to leave somebody out, abandon somebody. You could be worried here. I feel like this is what you're doing. You're showing compassion for somebody. Maybe it is a Sagittarian. Temperance is in the reverse. You look like you're showing compassion for somebody. Somebody that you want to leave. That's kind of how it looks. And let's see what we have. We also have uh, your highest expectations, judgment, the Ace of Pentacles. So you know if you make this decision, you're going to have a new beginning with somebody. Pretty sure here, Ace of Pentacles, somebody maybe is waiting for you. <clears throat> We have the Three of Wands and the Knight of Cups. These energies are leaving you. I feel like you're just trying to make a decision here with this Justice card as the first card. Right? You're trying to be the judge in your own life. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else we have. We have the Two of Wands. I just feel like here you are still trying, like in the past. You want to let somebody go here. You want to let this bird fly. And then we have this other man here. The woman is giving him the Knight of Cups. He's giving him the cup and he's taking it. This is like, here, take my love. Right? Take my cup. And he's receiving it. You could have been, I feel like you were a little bit of, at, at a crossroads in the past about this. You might still be at a crossroads. The Two of Wands is usually a chance. I mean a choice. A chance. Let's see what they say here. This, uh, Unique deck. We have ambition, resolution, courage. Wow. So this is courage for you. 
business leadership, acumen, trade, cooperation, discovery. I just feel like you here, uh, I feel like this is incomplete, but I feel like this is about you having courage, like to make this decision. This takes courage. Here you are agitated about it, right here, agitation. And it's because you miss somebody, the presence card. But you're concerned here, you're going to have to either lose some money or you're going to really hurt somebody. And, you know, this has kind of been maybe a, a theme here. We have the sun card. And that could just be you. One more card, the chariot card. I feel like you're I feel like you're clear you want to leave somebody here. Mm-hmm. I feel like you are clear in your heart, but I don't know if you are clear in your mind, like if you're really gonna do this. That's what's not clear here. Because right now your heart is not everything that you are considering. No. Let's see what we have. We have the lovers and the six of pentacles. This is uh, coming soon. You could be making this choice for harmony, to share with somebody. Mm-hmm. Where's that two of cups at? I thought there was it right here in the heart of the matter. This is somebody you love. Mm-hmm. Let's look at the king of cups, and this is how other people are affecting you. <clears throat> could be. King of Cups, Page of Wands. <clears throat> this King of Cups is like, <clears throat> could be a water sign, but this can simply be like uh, dealing in love because he's not good or bad. He's not in this particular deck. No, he's just. We have the Page of Wands. You know, you could be on a new path. And this could be that you are communicating with somebody. Let's see what else we have. And the Six of Wands. Mm hmm. This could be you in your imagination, the Page of Wands, like all about this. Somebody might think you're doing this. Like if you're with somebody, maybe it's this temperance person, she's in the, or he or she's in the reverse, could be, could be a Sag right there. I feel like you are kind of, kind of worrying somebody that you're going to be on your way or that you are seeing somebody. I feel like this person is worried. Could be for some. I don't have enough of their cards here, but you know. And this person may be agitated. I feel like this person is agitated. Let's get another card. Two of, two of uh, Pentacles. This talks about adaptability. Somebody could be trying to adapt to that, like kind of accept it. The moon card showing up here with the Ace of Swords reversed. Mm -hmm. uh, you could be making somebody like kind of live in doubts with doubts and fear. Maybe they don't have the whole the full story here. This could talk about sometimes bad judgment that Ace of Swords in the reverse, but it can talk about somebody who doesn't who doesn't like. They don't understand entirely the heart of the matter. Let's see what we have. This is how you could be affecting them. The Four of Cups. Somebody is worried here. They're in doubts. They have doubts and fears. This moon card and this uh, right here. This is about doubts and fears. That you're going to accept somebody's cup. Mm-hmm. And I don't think it's so much poor judgment. I feel like this person thinks you're using judgment against them. That's how they're seeing it. That's why they kind of see it as like... Bad judgment. You could be married to somebody here and they could be seeing you as like kind of like you're not being, you're not, you know, using integrity. Like, I mean, integrity is usually when, uh, is when, when no one's looking, you're still doing the right thing, right? We know that not that many people have integrity. Yeah, I'm not talking about you guys out there in tarot lands. I'm not talking about those people, right? Uh, you know, I mean, but I just feel like this person kind of thinks that you are like, I just think they think you're like cheating on them and that you kind of want to go be with somebody else. They could be like seeing you looking down at you in a way a little bit, because I feel like this person here, Leo is, uh, agitated right here. And maybe you are, I don't see you that agitated here though. I feel like you are making, trying to make a decision here. I feel like, if anything, you are using some compassion here. This person could be seeing you kind of like as a, 
like you are the troublemaker or perpetrator and they are kind of the victim they could be uh, kind of seeing you that way we have the two of swords and this is going to be uh showing up as your hopes and fears with the seven of cups see you're here you are like well here you are i feel like you are not making this decision yet right because you're worried what's going to happen once you make the choice the man is covering his eyes the seven of cups are behind him it's like a little kid or something or like uh, I'm not calling you guys little kids, but I'm just saying sometimes when you wish for something, right, you go, oh, shit, it, here it is, and I don't really like it, kind of. I don't feel like uh, it's that so much, <clears throat> like you're not going to like this person you're going toward, or you seem to be, yeah, this Ace of Pentacles that you want with somebody, this Two of Cups. I feel like your mind's made up about that person. This person could be the person that you want to be with, really brings you joy. And you could be thinking, you know, I just feel like this is about your, your decision about who you're going to be faithful to. And somebody I feel like might be left behind here. Over here, this is your hopes and fears. <clears throat> you're worried if you make this choice that it's, things not, might not work out for you as planned. Something like that. Like, oh shit, be careful what you wish for. Uh, and let's see how this person might feel about you, Leo, because we're pretty much done with this reading. We are. Let's, let's look at the outcome. And the outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. This could be the person that you love, right? Uh, but I feel like there's... <clears throat> there could be a water sign here or another fire sign. Maybe there... I mean, not a water sign. And there could be. Yeah, we have a lot of water energy here. We have the Queen of Pentacles. In the heart of the matter is the devil. So this could be a Capricorn right here, right? But there could be many people here. But this is your outcomes. Get a card on the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Mm -hmm. And we do even have the King and the Queen of Cups in this reading. I feel like this is because this is, it could be about a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it could be about just the fact that you <clears throat> are like, <clears throat> what's the word? Dealing with matters of the heart. Yeah, let's see what else we have. The Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and you have the Ace of Cups. This is in your outcome. <clears throat> You look like you have a new beginning with somebody right here, an earth sign, right? Uh, but this is what this is about. And you could be, you have this card, the seven of uh, clubs reverse. This talks about overcoming obstacles. You know, this could be saying you're going to make this decision and you're going to move into union with this person. It could be saying uh, that, that you're just, you're, you're going to have it right away, but Whatever it is, I feel like either way, I should say, I feel like you are going to reap. I, th I feel like you have a new beginning for yourself coming up. But I do believe you have to have courage for this decision. And I feel like you are you are considering all the pros and cons here. You're not just like, well, uh, I really want to go be with, you know, uh, Tatiana and I'm leaving uh, Monique or something like that. And it's kind of easy to go. It's not like that at all. I feel like there's money. There could be kids involved. Right, but there's definitely money here, <clears throat> and there is a need. Uh, there's a very like, there's a yearning for somebody here. I feel like with this card, the presence. There's like a real missing somebody. Yeah, there is. So let's see what we have. Let's see how they. Uh, let's see how they feel about you. And we're gonna call it a reading. Yeah, and the ten of wands. This just popped out here. This is how this person feels about you. So this is really burdening to them because they think you're letting them go. This person knows. I don't know how they know, Leo. Do they read your texts? And, you know, when you said you were going to go pick up Tatiana or Monique, or I'm not really sure. All right, but we're going to end this reading. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.